So the Japanese pair, the number seven seeds, Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe. Lee Chun-Hui and Liu Liu Chen, the reigning world champions, have yet to win a World Tour title. Two World Tour tournament finals, the Indonesian Masters 500 and the Japan Super 750, but they have yet to win a World Tour title. There's only one men's doubles pair at the end of year finale who's won the title, who had not won a Super Series or World Tour title that year. And that was the very first year of the Super Series finals, Kukian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong. But this will be the third meeting between these two pairs. And both previous meetings have been won by the Japanese pair, Indo and Watanabe. The last time they met was in the semi-final of the Malaysian Super 750. It was three games, as you can see, an hour and 18 minutes before winning through 21-17 in that deciding game. Jakobsenberg of Denmark, our rampart for our last final of the day. And both pairs have players struggling with injuries uh, because the tall man, and he really is very tall, Lee Jun Hui, 195, that's six foot five, 23 year old, born in Anshan City in Liaoneng province, hurt his knee on Friday playing against the European champions. Uh, but whilst it's heavily strapped, that right knee seemed to be okay in the semi-final. Liu Yu Chen is also 23 years of age, uh, born in Beijing, the Chinese capital. And he and his partner, whilst currently number two, did spend a total of 10 weeks as world number ones. He's not much shorter either. He's only two centimeters uh, shorter, so about six foot four. So they really are very tall individuals. Here is the man who's celebrating his 32nd birthday, Hiroyuki Endo, born in Kawagichi in Saitama Prefecture. And this, the second final that he's contesting at the end of year finale, because in 2012, he reached the final with his former partner, Kenichi Hawakawa, lost out to Bowen Morganson in the final. Yuta Watanabe, the left-hander, is 21 years of age, the only player to qualify in two disciplines here at the World Tour Finals. They're currently number eight in the world ranking. That's the highest they have ever been as a combination. Their fourth consecutive week at a career high, number eight. Endo, of course, did reach number two in the world ranking with Kenichi Hawakawa. So he's a very experienced player indeed. Jakob Sinberg from Denmark, as I was telling you, the umpire Christoph Osbold of Germany is the service judge. I'm guessing, Morton, several people may have been surprised by the head-to-head -head that the Japanese pair won both previous encounters. I think so, yes. Uh, but it's not been the best of the years for, um, for the two Chinese this year, I think. Uh, they won the World Championship and, you know, arms up and that hooray, was that was really fantastically done. Yeah. But Apart Since from that, it's, it's been quite disappointing they for them. They did win the Asian Championships as well in Wuhan at the beginning of the year. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. But, but, but still, considering, you know, world number one, uh, winning the World Championship, all that, yeah. still 
it has been some somewhat disappointing, I think. Yeah. But I think this tournament they have played really, really well, and they're sort of getting back into it. Absolutely. Now I said that there was injury concerns. We saw yesterday. Hiroyuki Endo had heavy strapping on his right thigh. He's got heavy strapping on his right calf muscle today. <laughs> He's 32, 32 years old. That's Maybe what that's, happens. That's what happens. That's what <laughs> happens when you turn 32. <laughs> what a way to celebrate your birthday. Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> it is. And I think that's what we might see a lot, that there will be pressure on Lee Junhui because he might not be able to get forward that much. And look at that block shot by Watanabe, how efficient that was. And I think that is an area that will be exploited a lot. Oh, who's going for that? Clever play from Hiroyuki Endo. Well, one thing we know for certain, Morton, is that whichever pair wins today's final will make history because no pair from Japan has ever won the men's doubles title at the end of year finale and no pair from China has ever won the men's doubles title at the end of year finale. So one of them is going to create history. Well, that's good. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's really nice. But quite unbelievable that China hasn't won it. Yeah. In all honesty. Four times they've had pairs that have been beaten in the final. Japanese pair in the final last year, wasn't there? Kamura and Sonoda. Oh. That's right. Yeah. yeah, they qualified just... <laughs> oh, they did not qualify, they were just outside uh, the top eight. Are you sure they weren't eight? I think they were eight, actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they were eight, but uh, due to the fact that uh, Lee and Liu did not qualify... They got the invitation. Yes, they got the invitation, so it's only the top seven. Yeah. Which means that uh, Endo and Watanabe qualified as the last pair. And they're here standing in the final. So the two pairs on court and the number seven and eight seeds. He looks nervous at the moment. Five, Chen. from the Japanese pair. Good variation on attack. And you can really see why the Japanese is probably 2-0 up against uh, the Chinese in, in the head-to-head. -head because they play a very good variation of shots and uh, you can see that the Chinese pair is really unsettled about it. Yeah. Same scenario, once again, confusion on who to take that cross-court lift.
that's a good setup. Standing his grounds well here, good defence. And all credit because I thought uh, not so long ago he was looking nervous, but he's stepped up to the plate. Now, here we saw it again. That drop shot to Lee Junhui. He really, really doesn't like it. Well played by Watanabe. Curious in the middle of that rally. Park Juvon, nearest to us. The only manatee, the other Japanese coach. Clever. And that's right. Oh, challenge. I was going to say that's landed in. Yeah, I can't see it from here because of the post. The net post. Yes. But it looked really close. Well, they've challenged. So Hawkeye will adjudicate for us. What does Hawkeye say? Yeah, caught the line. I thought it had. Good challenge. Correction. In. How did he get 
get that back. Did a full pirouette as well. That's unbelievable. That how, is unbelievable. How on earth did Hiro Yuki Endo keep in that rally? After one defensive shot, he's <laughs> run in a circle. He <laughs> was so off balance. No, it was earlier than that. Yes. Oh. Needs some attention. Well, as far as the birthday boy is concerned, his win at the Korean Super 500 event was at long last his first Super Series or World Tour title in his 10th final. Absolutely, I've mentioned that on a few occasions, yeah. and <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit harsh on him, but... Uh... The Japanese pair have a two-point advantage here at the mid-game interval of the opening game. And look, it's a rather concerning as we look at that return of serve again. When he went to the kit box, Hiroyuki Endo was stretching out his calf muscle. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm going towards the net, and he lifted it up to the back line, he slipped, and that's where it happened again. Yeah, he's not happy with the court attendant's mopping capabilities. And the umpire saying, no, let's play on. 11, 9, 8. I'm not sure he can really continue. No, I, I, it, it takes one more explosion, one more where he's got to push off, and then I think it, it goes for real. Yeah. But let's see. It's all about Watanabe here, if he can take over and really start, you know, taking all the drop shots and cover the net as much as possible. So Endo just has to do what he's doing right here. Yeah, but look at him. He, he, the limp is, is visible. It is. So far, Li Junhui and uh, Liu Yushen, they haven't seen it. I don't think they've detected it yet. No, nor do I. Because they've had opportunities to play block shots for Endo, and they haven't done it. Oh. 
of the match. Chin Chi Chu, who was pleased with that. Endo was expecting Rafton Arbe to intercept that one. actually going for this drop shot this one here look at this he's going for this he's the one that's getting it They've now won six of the last seven points. Oh, no, what an elbow slipping. in some places where the players are not completely happy with the new courts here. They find them a little bit slippery. There's another challenge here. No, I think that one was the correct call. Yeah. But having just lost six of the last seven points is worth a challenge. Yeah. Watanabe is playing two against one at the moment. <laughs> That'll be the longest run of the match as well, hasn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Get up! Get up! <laughs> no need, no need. <laughs> <laughs> He can defend it on the floor. Fans on their feet. I'm a little bit concerned about Lee Jun Hui as well. Yes. A hundred and one shots. Look at that. Then he just sat there. This is unfair, this is really unfair. The man is sitting on the floor and then the player drops shot. <laughs> <laughs> now that's very, very... Very ungentlemanly, like. Yes, right. <laughs> that's very good awareness. Yeah. Fabulous, Ronnie. Eight of the last nine points. knows how serious the injury is. It's quite obvious to us. He's very hampered in his movement. He is. Oh. Uh, good return. I also think it's very interesting that the umpire allows every time the Japanese are asking for the shuttle to be changed, he is allowing it because the two Chinese, they don't want to change it. They've got more firing power, so yeah. they don't mind having the slower shuttles. Yeah. So they will always say, no, we don't want to change. But the umpire is very strict on it. So, okay, we change it. Oh! Yeah. 11. Of the last 13 points. Game point opportunities, five of them for the reigning world champions. <laughs> Only needed the one. 21-15. 12 of the last 14 points. 25 minutes for the opening game. And considering Japanese pair were 13 9 up. Only won a couple of points after they picked up that injury. For their confirmation that the world champions have taken the opening game 21 15. minutes. <laughs> I'm seriously questioning in my own mind what the target point is going to continue. Because he doesn't, we don't know how serious he is. If it's a, uh, a muscle injury, um, if it's going to make it worse, and it could be a tear or a strain, yeah. We don't know. I, the only thing is that I, I saw when uh, he was 10 7 and he was going for that yeah. one at the front court when he was 
returning after that, he was limping. Yeah. And uh, yes. <laughs> but look at this man, he's limping too. <laughs> yeah. But to say that the momentum is with Li Jianhui and Liu Yu Chen is an understatement. Yeah. Twelve of the last thirteen points to close out the opening game. Always gone wrong. Move forward at the right moment. I pushed it long. Ah. Yeah, look at his movement back. Looks uh, very awkward. I wonder if we'll see it properly from here. Look at that. Oh! My word. Yeah, here we go. We'll see it better from this. Oh! That's what you call a good net cord. <laughs> because he is Three, running around four. the court and trying to cover like a madman. He played a really nice defensive shot from his forehand side. It was actually passing him and then he was pushing it back cross court. And that was helping Endo to move in at the net. Getting those back is unbelievable, Watanabe. Good defense. And that's going wide. Yeah, it was astonishing, wasn't it? 
early on in the rally. I thought he got back two defensive shots that he had no right to get back at all. <laughs> yeah. This one is the first one. Oh, that was actually Endo getting it back. Probably even one more then. Five, three. plays that one look at this how high he's getting the steepness of it but also the power really well played good smash by the man in the picture just doesn't oh. see it at all. No, he's completely fooled. Good. Seven, nine. Oh, that must have been close. Anticipation from Legion Way. advantage the world champions having already won the opening game yeah, and they're playing well now and to that injury road woes to endo <laughs> yeah. 
还在等什么？声音响起来，一起为我们的运动员加油！Not sure what else the Japanese pair can try. I mean, Watanabe is trying to cover as much as he can. There's nothing they can do. No, <clears throat> they, I, I can't see it. But uh, I must say, it's very admirable that they they keep fighting, and this yeah. is the final, and the whole crowd is here. We are on TV, everything, yeah. and they don't give a walkover. They just give it the best they can. Yeah. But one of the things that you can see is that Watanabe is not celebrating in the same way as in other matches when he's winning points or they yeah. are winning points. He's not celebrating in the same way. So inside, deep inside, he knows that, OK, we're doing the best we can under the circumstances. Yeah. And I think it's great support from Endo to, to Watanabe. You know, it's OK, I do my best. Uh, come on, yeah. let's do it all mm -hmm. the time. There's a great support there as well. Ooh. String is gone. Yeah. Off he goes. straight points. Slow getting up there. Yeah, and okay. Now he's limping even more. Yeah. Yeah, there's a look of anguish on his face, painful expression. Nine. 
close a flick serve, he can't get it. Mm. This match is inevitable. Yep, I'm afraid so. Oh, what an afternoon it has been. In oh, all honesty, it has been a fantastic oh, afternoon. Oh, wonderful, wonderful oh, matches. points away from the title. Adrian playing the new new champ. from their first ever World Tour Tournament title. And this is the biggest of them all. Nine match point opportunities. In a match a little over 44 minutes, and history is made. Because for a first time match at the end of year finale, a pair from China wins the men's doubles title. Congratulated by their coach Chen Shi Chu, but one has to feel for Hiro Yuki Endo. His birthday today, 32nd birthday. He was carrying an injury from yesterday, and it got even worse in the opening game. Yeah, Chinese fans celebrate their confirmation